how to use Evernote step-by-step -step tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and for today's video, I will show you a quick tutorial on how you can make use of Evernote step-by-step -step for beginners. So without further ado, let's get started. So first, you need to create an account here and the good thing about Evernote is that they offer 14 days a free trial to make use of their Pro account for you to test and see if this product or this platform is good for you. So let me go ahead and log into my account. So give me a moment. Alright, so I just log into my Evernote account and this is the home dashboard. And over here you can also customize everything that you want to be added in your home dashboard. So as for now, as default, we have our notes here. And also we have our scratch pad here and also over here you can customize what are the widget that you would like to add in your home dashboard so if you click this customize up here you will see all the available widget that you can add to your home dashboard for example I will be adding here as well my calendar so I will just drag and drop this one over here and also let me go ahead and add my task here for me to see right away my task when I open or log into my account. And then you have your back button here to go back to your home dashboard. And over here on your left side corner, you have different tabs here. You have your search button. You have your button here to add new notes or to add a new task. Or attach some file here or documents and also you have option here to do a sketch if you like to something like this so over here you can draw something like that if you like to and also you can synchronize your handwriting note up here as well let me just go ahead and cancel this one disregard and here you also have your home button, your shortcut. If you will be adding some note in your shortcut, you will see it here. And also you can see all the notes that you created inside your Evernote account and also your task over here. And also your notebooks here. This is good to categorize all your projects or all your research. For example, for this first notebook, this is for your specific client and then you will be creating again a new notebook for your second client, for example, uh, client two, something like that. All right, so for example, for this first notebook, let me just go ahead and rename this one. So for example, I have a client named David. So that will this will be for David social media marketing. Continue. And I will just go ahead and click to go inside this notebook. And here I can create my first note inside the David social media marketing notebook. So let me just go ahead and put here David information so David info and here I will go ahead and copy and paste some information that I already created for this one and then copy this one over here and then paste it here and by the way you can start by adding some templates here like for example the to-do list for your work. You can also add some template here for the meeting, project plan, more, and also you can open gallery here. For example, I will be adding some to-do list here. Then I will be having this template and I can customize it if I like. But let me just go ahead and undo this one. And let me just copy and paste the information here. So for example, this is the David information, my client information. And also, for example, I will be adding some more here. So you also have this plus icon. So you can add some blocks here. For example, task, calendar event, link, table, divider, attachment, image, checkbox, code block sketch and Google Drive. So for example, I will be adding a task here. So I will just click task and over here I can enter the task, for example, um, task one. And here I can set a due date for this task and also I can add a reminder 
I can also flag this one and also I can add some someone to assign this task and you have your delete option here and you have these three dots for this one as well. All right, so let me just cancel this one. And if you like to add more, just click here, add again, and then you can add more task, something like that. So let me just go ahead and undo everything here. All right, and the next thing that I want to share with you is adding some link. So for example, I will be attaching a link here for my teammate to just click this one here and they will go directly to my client's Instagram account. So just highlight this one here and once you highlight it, you have your link option here to insert a link and then just add the link here. For example, instagram.com. All right, and click apply. So as you can see here, this is now a clickable text. So when your team will click this one, then they will be re redirected to the Instagram account. So you are leaving Evernote, click continue, and you will go inside the Instagram account. So that's how easy it is. And also you can do the same here and over here if you like to. So if you like to add more notes inside your notebook, then go ahead and click new and you can add some note here. So for example, um, for my weekly planning. So this week plan, all right. And then let me just go ahead and add some information here. So I will go ahead and make use of the to-do templates. So over here, I can add some tasks today, tomorrow, and this week. For example, today will be for um, ideas about contents. And then I can assign someone here, or I can just set a true date for this one. And then over here is for graphic design. So something like that. And let's go ahead and add some notebook here. So create another notebook. So just click new notebook here and let's name this one client's info. All right, so we will be creating our client's info here. And then let me go ahead and enter our client information. And here I will be adding a new note. So I will name this one clients. I can add all my clients here, for example. Let me just go ahead and add David here. And then what I can do is that I will just go back to my notebook here and go inside David Social Media Marketing. And I will go here, David Information. And here we have these three dots for more actions. So I will just copy the internal link Make sure it's the copy web link, but if you have the up, then just choose the up link. And then going back to your notebook again and client's information, you can add this one here. So just highlight David and then just go to link and paste it here and then click apply. So that they can just click over here for David and then they will be redirected to this page or to this note where they can see all the information about David. And what I love about this platform is that they have an amazing search features here. And let's go ahead and search for a task. And you will see here we have two notes here that shows up where you can see this word or keyword task. So you just need to click each notes here for you to see what inside these notes if you want to make changes here or if you want to edit this. I guess that's all for today's tutorial for beginners and if you have any question just comment down below and thank you for watching.